What's going on guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. You have to admit, T-Mobile's Android lineup, well, it's pretty impressive. On one hand, you have the Samsung Galaxy S4G, a revised version of the Vibrant. We saw it at Mobile World Congress, and basically it's the same design, but with a few minor improvements. Front-facing camera, new battery door, uh, bigger battery, Android 2.2. Then on the other hand, you have the industry, or at least the T-Mobile champion, the MyTouch 4G. One gigahertz processor, 3.8 inch display, 5 megapixel camera, running Android 2.2 as well. So you have two high-end devices on T-Mobile, two high-end Android devices at that. What do you do? We well, you know what we do. It's going to be a dogfight between the Samsung Galaxy S4G and the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. Who's going to win? Well, we're going to find out, but first, special thanks to our friends at Best Buy. They've hooked us up with two of these, two of these, total of four, so we can give them away to you in the One Paw Bandit game after our iPod Shuffle Super Giveaway is done. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you walk out working, so you get either of these devices, you'll walk out working with all your stuff set up. Enough of that, let's get into it. So you look, and obviously, with any sort of operating system difference, like TouchWiz, and HTC Sense user interface, there are differences across the board from the way menu structures look to the phone application to contacts. And I really want to take a look at those because I don't often cover those in the videos just for time purposes, I often run out of time. So let's take a look at the phone applications on both of these devices and uh, jump into those, for example. Now you'll see you're greeted with five different icons down here at the bottom on the MyTouch 4G, whereas on the Galaxy S 4G, you're treated to uh, four different tabs, I didn't mean to dial voicemail, but four different tabs up here at the top. So design's not that different, but in terms of uh, you know the placement of things, a little bit different. Now one thing I like, let's say I'm dialing Billy Bob or whoever it is in my contact list, I don't even remember. I dial 555 and it automatically brings up a contact with 555. Likewise, if I type in B-I-L-L-Y, Billy Bob pops up. So there are uh, you know, some perks if I'm typing in my contacts list and I'm like, where is Steve, S-T-E-V-E? -E? You know, I can bring up somebody and then I can tap it and it dials. Whereas you don't have those options on this one, you know, so you just dial 555. It gives you the option to add it and shows it down here. But I think this is more intuitive in terms of the boxes and the way it's laid out uh, on this one. So you'll see contacts over here. You can scroll over, see your favorites. And my faves have gone from an actual plan to kind of just a place to organize your favorites phone, call log, and then voicemail. So you can see your call log. If you do have a missed call log, let's jump into, for example, do 611, customer service, we'll end the call. And then you can see it shows your last call, your missed calls, anything like that, whatever the last call that came in takes up that space. So, you know, I just think that's pretty intuitive, pretty cool, whereas you do get a little bit with this one, and you can hit that and then see the numbers that have 555 in them it's just not as good. At the bottom you have the call button here whereas you have call, voice dial, and contacts as well down here. Contacts are a little bit different as well. Let's take a look at those contacts, contacts, and you can see the same kind of kind of row down here and here's what it looks like. So we'll jump into Aaron Baker with both of these and here's what it looks like. You have your tabs, history, updates, media, and then you know I absolutely love, talked about this in a bajillion videos, but I love the layout of, uh, of the way Sense does it, but we'll take a look at this one first. It shows your number, shows any relevant information, your email address, your physical address, your birthday, etc. Here, you can message from here. Then you have history, where you can view text messages, calls, updates to that person, and the media as well. And then I can click the star and make uh, Aaron Baker my favorite, which that's a little biased, but. You know, I'm going to do that anyway. So on this one, you see Aaron Baker. You see home message. I can edit the contact, make it a VIP call. I can uh, divert the call. I can change the ringtone. But what I really like about this is if you go in and you're like, you know, I had a conversation with somebody, uh, you know, a very close friend of mine, but I can't remember what we said in text messaging or I want to find that specific message or whatever. I can scroll over here at the bottom. I have a ton of options like messages it will isolate every message that I sent back and forth with Aaron Baker. So, you know, it'll show all the messages. I go back to mail. It'll show all the mail, uh, the emails that we've sent, any updates, the gallery that we've taken together, if there's, you know, if they're tagged, and then the call log. So it's kind of this nice option where you go into your contacts, you're like, oh, I know Billy and I talked, but I can't remember when it was. Call log, bam. So it just saves, saves time as opposed to going in the call log and trying to fish for information, trying to remember when you called 
and uh, you know what day and things like that. Let's take a look at speed test because we want to get an idea of the network speeds. Both of these are 4G devices, although, like I said, this one supports uh, the 21 megabits per second speeds, whereas the uh, the My Touch does not. It supports 14.4, if I remember right. So something to keep in mind. So this is, you know, this device is inhibited, but we'll see which one runs faster. You know, I've never gotten anywhere close to 21 megabits per second, so we'll see which one knocks it out of the park. Make sure they're both on Charlotte. Okay, let's begin this test and see which one takes home the gold. I have a feeling it'll be the Galaxy S4G, but we'll see. Uh, let's do, do, do. About 3.3 uh, megabits per second. And I'm going to convert this over, see. There we go. One, to 1.89 megabits per second. Upload, 0.58, 0 0.57. So the Galaxy S4G takes it on both counts. You know, again, that's traffic based. It's, you know, it's. 117, it could be that there's a lot of traffic on the interstate, whatever, but you know, just in that one speed test, the Galaxy S takes the cake. Let's take a look at Quadrant Standard. And yes, to the commenters, I understand Quadrant Standard isn't always that reliable, but I don't find the other ones to be any more reliable. I'm always searching for another option. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. I've heard Smart Bench. Uh, you know, I've taken a look at that one. I don't know that I'm that pleased with it, but uh, I'm still doing some research on it. And, uh, you know, I'm always open to some options. So just let me know in the comments. I do read those. Call quality with both of these devices, I've been very pleased. The earpiece, you know, most importantly to me, I don't know if I'm deaf or white or half deaf, but the earpiece quality is very, uh, very good on both of these. Call quality is loud. Uh, I can hear the callers. And there's a T-Mobile dead spot that I regularly take these devices to. And uh, when I first had this device, I took it to that dead spot and was very pleased with the way it held the call. Now, I mean, I couldn't hear a word that they were saying. It was very choppy, but it didn't drop it, which is what I usually look for in those tests. Uh, battery life's been good on both of these devices. 1,650 milliamp battery, 1,400 milliamp battery on this. So, uh, you know, I've been very pleased. And, uh, you know, I mean, for, even for Android, I've made it through a day. So, we'll see here. We'll jump in. My Touch, 1,765. And then on the Galaxy S 4G, 987. Let me get that to focus so you can see it. 987, 1,765. So my Touch 4G blows circles around, or runs circles, blows smoke, runs circles. So I kind of mix those together. Uh, runs circles, sorry, around the, uh, the Galaxy S 4G, at least in terms of a quadrant standard test. Now, you know, obviously I have to declare a winner. It's a dogfight. Both of these are good devices. But, you know, I, have, I don't have as much of an issue declaring a winner in this one as I do with some of the other videos where it's close call. The clear winner here is the MyTouch 4G to me. The Galaxy S is, an, is a decent device. There are a lot of pros to this. If you want an iPhone-like interface but you want to stay on T-Mobile, the Galaxy S 4G is your device. If you want a device that supports 21 megabits per second HSPA+, it's your device as well. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's not, you know, the speeds aren't that great in terms of quadrant standard scores. And if it was priced, you know, it's priced at $199.99. I think for $200, the build quality of this, the speed of this, and uh, just the overall HTC Sense interface, how quickly it moves, and the way it's laid out is a better bang for the buck. Now, if they had kept this at $150, like they told us at Mobile World Congress, uh, that, you know, that'd be a different story, but or maybe a different story. But at $199, you know, I would tell anybody that's interested to go with the MyTouch 4G over that unless they were looking for an iPhone look-alike. Much more coverage to come on both of these devices on PhoneDog.com. Additional dogfights coming up for the Galaxy S 4G. Maybe a few for the MyTouch 4G if you know some of these carriers would get on it and release some of these devices from CES and Mobile World Congress. So we'll see, but be on the lookout because more dogfights are coming in the future. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're always giving away stuff. We have a big, big giveaway in the works. We're excited about it, so be sure to like us. Facebook.com slash phone dog. And as always, follow me on Twitter. Let me know. You know, you like the Galaxy S 4G. You think I was smart to make the T-Mobile My Touch 4G the winner. You know, love, hate. You think I'm crazy? I always love to hear from you. Phone dog underscore Aaron. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. And as always, we'll see you next time.